I'm going to show you now how to do reverse parking. Simple in one shot. So first thing first, you have to pick up the spot or when you're on the test, the examiner will ask you, let's do reverse parking. So how you do it? For example, I'm going to pick up, that's going to be my spot. So what my next step supposed to be? First of all, you have to make sure that you're putting the signal to the right. And people, whoever will be behind you, they will know that you're parking the car. So I'm going to count. This is what I teach my students. And that's the easiest steps that you can ever find. This is my, stop, my spot. I'm going to count from my spot. Three, include mine. So this is going to be the one. This is going to be the second one. And this is gonna be the third one. Now, in my car, again, guys, I repeat, in my car, it's simple to do if you do the steps. So, as you can see, I usually say to my guys, to my students, that look at the line. And as you can see here, I have a nap. This is kind of an introduction for people that they're trying to find how can I align up my car properly. So this is the line, and as you can see me, I am moving forward towards to see that my nap of the door lining up with the line. If it's there, the next step, what I have to do, I will put the reversal to turn the wheel on which side we need to turn the steering wheel. So remember one thing, it always works like that. If the spot is on the right, you're turning one full turn to the right. If the spot will be on the left side, that's where you're turning the wheel. So my parking spot now, as you can see, will be on the right side. Remember guys, each car has his own unique turn. My car turns one turn, I'm locking. In any car, if you wanna do reverse parking properly, you turn until the wheel locks. Now, what's the meaning of locking? There is no more room to turn. So, I'm gonna back up now. I have to make sure that the area is clear. I check my rear view mirror, my shoulders on both sides to make sure nobody will walk behind me. After I release the brake, I am start looking. And where I'm looking, guys, rear view mirror and the side mirrors. If I gonna look over my shoulder, I will not see anything. So I continue to move back. I am looking on both sides and I wanna see that I am reaching the spot. So now I'm gonna stop. As you can see, there is a car approaching and on the test specifically, you wanna make sure that they are gone. They are not gonna be moving. As you can see in the mirrors that there is a very nice visible small mirrors that I'm using to make sure that I am going in. So as you can see in my mirrors, and I'm gonna put on description in the future when I'm gonna do more videos, what's the best way to see the lines? And my blind spot, it's called the blind spot mirrors on both sides, showing me that I'm going in. So when I see that the car is straight, and as Andrew showing you guys that there is a line and I'm perfectly inside, what's my next step to do? I have to recover and straighten up the wheel. So when my wheels are straight and I am inside, I simply go back. And when I'm in perfectly, I stop and I park the car. 